Hi guys, this is Luan Skaggs and welcome to the channel. Now I made this peacock for you guys a while ago and if you guys have not seen this peacock, it would be linked in the description down below and at the end of this video. Now when I made this peacock, I asked you guys if you all would like to see this peacock and you guys said yes. So here's this peacock. Now a full list of all the materials needed for this project would be found in the description down below. Now let's get started. Now to get started you'll download the pattern absolutely free for the first 48 hours and the link for the pattern is in the description down below. Now we'll take number one and we'll be cutting it along this line. Now we'll be gluing number one to number two. Now you could use clear tape, but I'll be using the glue gun. Now we'll take number 3 and we'll be cutting it along this line. Now we'll glue number 3 to number 2. Now we'll be cutting number 4 along this line and we'll be gluing it to number 3. Now this is the first row. Now we'll take number 5 and we'll be cutting along this line. Now we'll take number 5 and we'll be lining it up and we'll be gluing it to the side that has number 1. Now we'll take number 6 and we'll be cutting it along the line that says number 6 and we'll be cutting it on the bottom side. Now we'll glue the both sides that we cut to number 5 and to number 2. Now we'll cut number 7 along the line that says 7 and the bottom side. Now we'll glue number 7 to number 6 and glue down the bottom side. Now we'll cut number 8 on these two sides. Now we'll stick number 8 to number 7 and glue down the bottom side. Now I've placed number 9 and 10 on the same paper and we'll be cutting them apart. Now we'll be cutting them along these lines here. Now we'll also be cutting this edge of number 10. Now we'll glue number 9 and number 10 together. Once we're finished with this, we'll line them up and we'll glue them on the top here. Now we are going to be cutting around the edge of our pattern so it would be easier for us to see what we're doing when we're sticking it onto the foam board. Now guys, if this is your first time here, consider subscribing. We have new and great videos like this coming every week. Now we'll place the pattern onto the foam board. We'll line it up and pin it into place. Now I decided to push the pattern all the way to the top. Now we could finish drawing in the incompleted edge. Now to secure the paper to the foam board, I'll be using these straight pins. Now once you're done sticking your pins into place, we'll use an X-Acto knife to trace the design from the paper onto the foam board. Now one of the cool things about using an X-Acto knife is that you could remove the paper as you go along so that you know how much you've done and how much you still have to do. Now we'll continue this for the rest of the board and I'll come back and show you what we do next. Now we'll prepare some bling wrap for our project. Now we'll cut our bling wrap in two. And guys, there are two strings going through the bling wrap and we'll cut one of them and leave the other one attached. This would make it possible to go around our corners. And one of the things that I learned 
is to start from the smaller piece and then bring the long piece over the shorter piece to cover up the edges so that we have one seamless looking piece. Now we'll be gluing one long piece on the other side. Now we'll be gluing one row in the middle. Now guys, we'll repeat this same process all the way around and I'll come back and show you all what we do next. Now we're going to be using this green sequence in the middle. Now we'll be doing this to all the pieces. Now while I was doing this, I found using this Dollar Tree glue which comes two in a pack. This makes it much more faster to do this project. All I did was took the glue and I used it on all of the sides. And once I placed the glue and put on the bling wrap, the other side was dry and I was able to go back in and do the other row. And guys, this is such a faster way of working. This made the project finish in such a short space of time. So I just wanted to come back and show you guys how much more easy this was to do. Now another great tip is to glue the bling wrap in one direction first and then turn it over and glue it in the other direction. That will make sure that you don't have to keep flipping from one direction to the other, just like I'm doing here. Now to achieve these pointed edges, this is better done with a glue gun. So I switch back to the glue gun and then you put the glue onto the cardboard and carry it onto the edge of the bling wrap. Then you put the bling wrap onto the cardboard and carry the bling wrap onto the top of the bling wrap just like I'm doing here and this will achieve those pointed edges and you do this throughout the piece wherever you need to have pointed edges. Now we could continue with the regular gluing method for the rest of the board. Now I use this gold sequence in the center to finish out the peacock. Now after gluing on the bling wrap, I thought that it was a little too flat. So I took this cardboard that I took off from a Dollar Tree mirror and I placed the peacock on top of it and cut it out. Then I took a grocery bag, cut it in half and I placed it within another grocery bag and I folded that and glued it to the center of the peacock. Now this is how I fill in the remainder of the peacock with plastic bags. Now we are going to crush some aluminum foil and we are going to use this to wrap our peacock. Now I decided to cut off the legs of my peacock but you could leave yours on. Now I continued wrapping the aluminum foil and gluing it around the peacock. Now you could take your time right here and shape the peacock to make sure that it has a nice round smooth surface and then glue the rest of the aluminum foil behind onto the cardboard. Now if while you're shaping you think it needs some more padding, you could always put in some more and then continue shaping it so that it gets the look that we're going for. Now to cover the peacock, I picked up this silver and gold sequence from Walmart and this is the design that I came up with using these sequins. Now we'll take the eyes and we'll cut it out and we'll stick it to our peacock. Now we'll be using E6000 glue to stick the eyes to the peacock. Now we'll put E6000 all over the eyes to protect the eyes and also to give it a glass like look. Now we'll continue gluing the smaller sequins to the head of the peacock. Now for the beak, I'll be using this gold sequence that I picked up from Walmart. Now this is just to give it a different texture so that the beak would stand out from the rest of the peacock. 
Now I'll be using this black acrylic paint that I also picked up at Walmart. Now we'll be using this to mark some lines on the beak so that we could tell the top beak from the bottom beak and we could also mark around here as well. Now we'll draw in some of the eyelashes so that we have nice beautiful eyelashes. Now we'll be using these gold fuzzy sticks and we'll be cutting four different lengths. Now we'll be bending the edge of the fuzzy sticks so that we have nice little curls at the top. Now we'll twist the ends of the fuzzy sticks and I'm using a pliers here so that I could get a much deeper curve at the end. Now we'll be gluing some sequins on the ends of each of the fuzzy sticks. Now we're going to glue the feathers to the head. Now I'll show you how I did the glitter on this side. Now I used this glue that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and this flathead brush. Now I put the glue between the grooves and I used the flathead brush to spread out the glue. Now I picked up this black glitter from Walmart and this is the glitter that I used on the background. Now you could leave the peacock on the board but I decided to use this hot knife to cut out mines. Now if you don't have a hot knife, you could use an X-Acto knife to cut out your peacock from the board. Then we'll take some black paint and paint around the edges of the foam board. Now we'll fill in the empty spaces with strips of the diamond wrap. Now we'll be using the three different size sequins. We'll be using the large one here, the middle one here and the small one on these. And this is how we're going to be gluing on the sequins. Now we're going to be doing this for every other one of the feathers. Now we'll glue the peacock in the middle. Now I use command strip and double sided tape to hang it on the wall. Now guys I really love the way that this peacock turned out and I'm so glad that one of you guys requested it because it was such fun to do this project. If you guys would like to do this project let me know in the comment section down below and if you guys would like to do this peacock on the side that would be linked in the description down below and at the end of this video thanks for taking the time out to watch the video you have a blessed and awesome day now if you like this video you may also like these as well and don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you in the next one